Oh, what's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. An absolute embarrassment in the North London derby today as Arsenal battered us three goals to one. It was 3 0 at half time, but I mean. It was game over half time. It was literally yeah, game over after 20 over. minutes, really. Uh, but I mean, where do, I don't know what to say. I'm really lost for words. You know, when I, when I saw the lineup, I was looking at it, I was like, okay, he's gone attacking and he's like got attacking kind of like. Uh, you know, Delhi and Ndombele in the midfield and, and Lucas and Son and Kane they'll bring Lucas straight in. I was like, that's brave, man, because, you know, what's been the biggest complaint last few times we've gone to the Emirates? No fight, not turning up, no desire. We need to, Arsenal always turn up for this game. We all know that. They play They play like they're prime Barcelona. They're always going to have that extra fight, especially in the, at the Emirates in, the home, in front of the home crowd. So I was, I was thinking... That's why I really wanted Skip in there today. We, we said that pre-game, we wanted Skip in the centre. But I thought, you know, Deli and Ndombele, maybe not, um, maybe not so much fight, or so much fight. Sorry, someone's skateboarding there. Um, maybe there's not so much fight, but maybe always oh, got creativity and maybe it's offensive, it could work, but it, it needs Deli and Ndombele to really step up. And you they know, just the went thing nowhere. Is, the thing they is, though, nowhere. the thing is, uh, Deli Ali has shown fight all season. He's shown fight all there's season. Difference. There's a difference between difference between putting um, closing down your man. And he wasn't going even doing that tackle. today. No, I'm saying there's a difference between closing down your man and going in for a tackle and really going into full blooded challenges. And that's not Delhi's game. That's not what Delhi is. He's not a player who what like proper puts, game now? puts it. You know what I mean? That's another question. But um, that Delhi isn't the kind of player who's going to be like you know take that um, game by the scruff of the neck in the centre of the park and really you know putting a crunching challenge on party or something like that. You know he's obviously Obviously, going to get bullied in that game. It was so obvious. So to have him and Undombele next to each other, when we know Undombele offers nothing off the ball anyway, mm. he needed protection from well from the midfielder. No. Hoybier was doing it all like we had literally all Hoybier by himself. Had, literally all overrun, by himself. completely overrun. And you could see, you could see as soon as Skip came on, he gave us that bit of bite and aggression in the middle of the. And park. you know what the worst bit for me was? I mean, sorry, that was the worst bit actually. To be honest, having no fight. But the, another point which pissed me off was um, not just having no fight, but you know, you play that lineup with Ndombele and Delhi, and then what do we do when we have the ball? Long balls. Every single time. Every single time. Long ball, We long did not ball, try to play ball. it through them once. I mean, it looks and as though we had been beaten before we even got onto that pitch today. Literally, every player was playing with their heads down. Every player, not, not one passing move did we put down together, especially in that first half. I mean, lack of fight, lack of aggression. And, and we say it every single year. Every single year we say this. Why does this keep happening every year? Why can't the manager get, or the, anyone, get up for this game? And you saw at half time, he brought, uh, like with, uh, game, look, the game was over at half time. Uh, look, no doubt about that. Well, look, absolutely bad. I don't think we'd have a shot in that first half. Maybe one from Sonny. Um, or like counter attack was like tight angle. We're never going to go in. Um, we were completely battered. So you could say Arsenal, you know, took their foot off the gas and whatever. But you saw the change um, uh, Skip made. In yeah, the it was field. clear for everyone to it see. Was, you saw that change, like how much it made. All he was putting a few tackles in. He was putting himself about. He was getting on the ball as well and playing it forward, spraying some passes. But the most crucial thing is he was putting in some passion, some fight, and some full blooded challenges. And that's exactly what we needed in this North London derby. Not to be passengers, not to be um, Every, weak. Everyone knows that if you put Arsenal under pressure, if you press them, if you're aggressive with them, they falter under that pressure and we didn't give them anything to think about today whatsoever. Well, I'd say in the second half, uh, look, it's atrocious. We, look, we deserve, I'm not going to say we deserved anything out of this game because we deserved absolutely nothing. We were atrocious. Even in the second half, I think we weren't very good. However, you know, we saw, even, we, you saw what a difference having a bit of fight could make because it could have even been three all that second half. Kane missed a guilt-edged um, Should have had a penalty. Apparently, it was outside the box. That's what oh, I was, was saying. It? That's what I've read. But we, at least we, had a free kick we, then. We, we, <laughs> had a free kick. But no, no, but look, we, Kane had that a massive guilt edge chance, which he put wide. And then um, uh, Ramsdale pulls off an absolute worldie of a save yeah. um, to tip it onto the crossbar, which he had no right in making that save. I've got to say, that was a world-class save. So, you know, those are two moments where it could easily have gone for us. And it could even be three all in that second half. And, and we didn't even, we wouldn't have deserved it, but it could even be just because because uh, we were able to gain a bit of control in the centre from having someone like Oli Skip being not being a passenger, not being weak, not being a liability off the ball. And our midfield in that first half, off the ball atrocious, and on the ball, mate. completely anonymous, completely Absolutely atrocious, atrocious, weak, atrocious. feeble, was a disgrace. Tanganga, I understand why he was taken off in uh, half time as well, because he struggled big time uh, throughout the game. Uh, on the ball especially, I felt like he had absolutely, this is what I've always been worried about with the Tanganga, but I thought today actually, I, I was advocating him starting because I thought uh, we needed his kind of passion. Put that aggression in, but... but his lack of composure and quality on the ball really showed today. Every time he was pressed, he panicked. Just, just put it. Um, just skied it every they, time. Ooh, every single one panicked on the ball every time. Sanchez, I don't know why he didn't start. What Romero was Ndombele up to today? Romero as well. Um, 
I would have started him because I thought Dyer and Sanchez, um, as much as they did all right the first three games of the season, I thought today. Romero would have added that a bit of aggression. He likes to step in front of his man. He does like how much, how many times we today we saw um, um, Dyer and um, Sanchez step off Aubameyang and give him is, space. Though, Romero would have been straight at him and either give away a foul, he would have got the ball. What and was the Dyer game plan Sanchez, today? What was our game plan today? It seemed like defensive tactics with an attacking lineup. <laughs> Sorry, and that makes no sense. No sense no whatsoever. Sense. The pattern to play was was non-existent. Um, the midfield was like so far away from the defence that every time Dyer and Sanchez got the ball, they were given time on the ball, and yet no one was coming short to them. No one was showing for the ball. They were, they were completely every single time just going long, long, long to Kane and Son, uh, and they were, they were they had nothing. They had absolutely no joy. Gabriel was eating out for dinner. Tommy Arsenal was brilliant uh, mate, right back as well. Mate, when you try and compare Tommy Arsenal, who were linked with all bloody summer, to Emerson, it's not. I actually day. think Emerson was all right. Yeah, in the but nothing, half. nothing like Tommy Arsenal, mate. Absolutely Tommy Arsu nothing played well, like but Tommy I actually Ar think When you compare Emerson's, Emerson's right two games off. and Tommy Arsenal's two games, it's it's night, night and day in my opinion. It's complete night and day. Yeah, he played well today. He played um, really well today. Just, we just he couldn't get dominant. past him. We he just couldn't dominant. get past him. Every time he won the ball in the air, every time he won the ball on the floor. I mean, the guy was absolutely immense today. In the middle of the park, Thomas Party completely was running rings and dominant against our whole midfield. He had I mean, an easy time though. I felt like he, he did have an easy such time. Such an right. easy time. No, look. To be fair, look, we did give it. We we made it easier for them. But you got to take advantage. You have got to be a good enough side side to take complete advantage of our weaknesses. And that's what they did. They pressed us to shit. We couldn't handle it. And then um, defensively, uh, they forced us into long balls by the by, by the how they were. I think it just showed up. I think it showed up Nuno a lot today, to be honest. The problem for me, the problem for me, I, yeah, fine. Yeah, the tactics did show up Nuno today. I completely agree with that. But there's no excuse for no aggression, no fight, no will to win. It's a North London derby, for God's sake. You know what I mean? Get in there, put your foot in, be aggressive. You know, just like Jose Mourinho said, you know, do all those kind of things, the fundamentals. We didn't do any of that today. We just didn't do any of that until, today. Until Skip came on. Yeah, literally. And you know that's just... why we said at the start of the, before the game we need someone uh, in there who's going to have full blood and passion like Skip. We know that if Skip started today, he was going to one hundred percent be. Yeah, uh, you know, we're not we're not saying we would have won or we would have drawn if Skip no, started the game, but we wouldn't have been a completely, like a complete pushover like we were today. That's the thing with Tottenham. Like I feel like. Like under Pochettino, we had that aggression, we had that physicality, we were we were we were getting rid of that Spursy tag um, of, of all in terms come of, back, mate. It's on all come in terms back. of being a, a weak side to play against. And now it's like going back in the nineties, the Spurs way. Sometimes you play a bit of nice football, and then as soon as you're under pressure, as soon as there's any aggression, that's it. Uh, we we crack and we and we're weak and we're easy to play against. And that's just reality now. We're easy to play against. Yeah, we're very easy to play against and it's it's really tough to take. It really is. And, you know, as much as I want to lay into Nuno, as much as I want to lay into the team... It's both of them. It's it both is, of them. but yeah. I, I'm putting the sole blame on, on the people at the top. Yeah, I know maybe uh, Nuno could have picked a better team today, better tactics today, uh, but the fight on the pitch is all down to the lack of investment throughout the years and that's why we're not as good as we used to be. And, you know, you can't not replace Moussa Dembele. You can't not replace Carl Walker. You can't not replace all these players, Jan Vertonghen. You know, it's just a joke. It's just a joke what's going on at Tottenham right now. And today, as much as the Emirates no-shows that we've seen in the past, this is the biggest one of the lot, in my opinion. Yeah, this was the worst one to be game over at half time is unacceptable completely unacceptable and um it was a shambles and you know it's very hard to take any positives out of this game especially you go into the north london derby wanting to win so much and to have the game over at half time yeah that is a, that is so embarrassing it is against so this arsenal side as so well no you got to, you know what i gotta say they are they look like they are getting it together I look, I'm not going to lie. They, 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 they do like this to us together. every time at the Emirates, though. No, every but time at the it. Emirates, they completely shit on us. Yeah, but let's be like, I can, uh, to be honest, today was the first time I actually saw like what they're trying to do. And with, with, look, I still think they're nowhere near like top four or anything like that. But like in terms of the, the, the high pressing, they pressed us really, really effectively. The aggression that the Gabriel and Tommy Artu and Ben White were showing was very impressive. Tierney as well was very impressive. And then when they had Odegaard working hard in the centre, backed up by Partey and um, um, Xhaka in that, with that aggressive centre, it was hard to deal with. It was hard to yeah, deal with. And that's why we I had to match our aggression. We yeah, but do I, it. Yeah, but, you know, I don't think that's a sign of how far Arsenal are coming. I think it's just a sign of them performing on the day like they always do against us at home. This happens every single time. Every time they're more aggressive than us. Every time they want it more than us. And every time they play us off the park. Yeah. This was just worse than the others.
and that's, yeah. and that's and that's the facts of the matter you know i'm not having this arsenal yeah 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 they're they're on the right track no they're not they're absolutely crap and no, I disagree, actually, they are abs it. they're absolute crap they do this to us every year at the emirates and if we showed up and we showed some aggression we showed some fight and we showed some heart we could have got something i out think, the game I think today. that's the problem with us we underestimated them today i think we did i think i think the lineup shows that i think the lineup shows that we underestimated them we should have had, had more protection should have had a bit more aggression about us but of course of course it's not an excuse to uh to, to show have the showing that we did but we underrated so but we, we we i think we underestimated them so look somehow arsenal lost their first three games we won our first three games and we're sitting out six games below them on goal difference so that tells tells you how much things have changed after yeah. three games long Shambles. long season ahead we move on to conference league this week Mura at home and then uh, this weekend before the international break we've got villa and they've just turned a corner yeah exactly. they've just turned a corner i mean if we go four losses in a row how much pressure we is Nuno to, under? We need to stop conceding three fucking goals a game. <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, we need to get out step. of this area. Yeah. Uh, over and yeah. out. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. It's an absolute shit show today. Uh, but we move on. We move, like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.